Hi there folks, in this next video on number theory, we're going to talk about, right after the Euclidean algorithm, we're going to talk about the least common denominator. So the least common denominator is a somehow a concept parallel to that of the greatest common divisor of two integers. This is known as the com least common multiple, but or least common denominator. Okay, in some, if, it, if you're looking for the denominator, it, sh it should be called denominator, but if it's just a multiple, so we'll call it multiple. Anyways, let's change this. Instead of denominator, let's make it multiple. Well, if you're talking about fractions, this is a similar concept. So if you're looking for the least common multiple of the denominator, so it should be called it should be it shall be called least common denominator. But for here, in this for the purposes of this video, number theory, we'll call this the least common multiple. Okay. There you go. The least common multiple. Now um, an integer c is said to be the least common multiple, okay, the least to be, or rather, the integer c okay, is said to be a common multiple of two non-zero integers, we have a and b, whenever a divides c at the same time b divides c, meaning a is a factor of c and b is also a factor of c. So evidently, zero, okay, is a common multiple of any a and b okay that's a trivial multiple of a and b common multiple of a and b so um we can see that the least common multiple of, all, of everything of all pairs of numbers is zero but that's very trivial to say that zero is the least common multiple but to see that the common multiples which are not trivial so we will talk about this not trivial like zero do exist now just note that the products a times b and negative a times b are both common multiples of a and b but um uh they're not always the least okay and one of these are positive um, um to say this a times b is positive so by the well ordering principle okay, by the well ordering principle the set of positive common multiples the set of positive common multiples of a and b positive common multiples of a and b must contain a least or smallest integer least or smallest integer that's by the well ordering principle so we call that the least common multiple or lcm of a and b okay so that's how we we will be st we will be talking about the lcm so for the record here is the official definition of the least common multiple definition there so the least common multiple of two non-zero integers a and b, okay, denoted by the LCM of a and b. So um, if you can recall it correctly, GCD is written as this, GCD of a and b. So LCM can, is written um, similarly, LCM of a and b. Though in some books they use only for the GCD, they use simply the brackets which I do not like because it's kind of confusing um, in as an ordered pair or something in mathematics. LCM, in some books, they use the brackets to represent LCMs. But now, but here, for the purposes of this video or this lessons, we're going to make use of the GCD and the LCM, as in spell it out. Okay? So, again, the least common multiple of two non-zero integers A and B, denoted by this LCM of A and B, is the positive integer. M satisfying the following conditions. So what are the conditions here? Number one, first condition. Okay, A should be a factor of M. At the same time, B is also a factor of M. The same thing as we have as we have said a while ago. So A should be a factor. A divides M and B divides M. Secondly, if A was also a factor of some integer C, and likewise B is a factor of some integer C with C greater than zero. Then, since we define that M is the least, therefore this C is, um, you know, less than or equal to C. So it's at most C. Okay, but the thing is, M should be the greatest, or rather the least, the least common multiple. So C, if there's a, if there's a C, so C is just common, but it's not, it's not the least common multiple. So to provide an example, we shall see here, consider the integers, 
negative 12 and 30. Let's consider the integers negative 12 and 20 and 30. Um, notice that the positive common multiples, okay, positive common multiples of 12 and 30 are the following. 60, 120, 180. So hence, therefore, we can say that the least common multiple is the first one here with being written. And therefore, we can say that the LCM of negative 12 and 30 is equal to 60. So we're just looking for the common multiples here. Um, if you want the same old, same old um, way to find this, so we can try that. So let's make use of the positive 12 instead of negative and then 30. What's the prime factorization of 12? That's 4 times 3. That's 2 times 2 times 3. How about 30? That's 2 times 15. Um, 15 is 3 times 5. So again, let's let's highlight the common numbers. There are 2. We have 3. We have 2. And we have 5. So how do we do this? The LCM of 12 and 30 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So 2 times 2 is, is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 5 is indeed 60, which shows here as their least common multiple. Okay, so that's the end of this video. We have talked about the LCM, LCM here. We have defined it. Um, quite clearly in a very formal definition and we have the introduction here above so again we've talked about the LCM um, how it is being how what are the concepts around this the definition of LCM the the formal definition and we have stated some examples for the LCM and of course we have looked for looked into the the, the, the basic way or the old way of finding the LCM Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you, um, you would like this video and you would subscribe to my channel. So thank you very much.